Sava Dikap everyone, I'm currently in Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam and in today's video I want to guide you step by step on how to enter Vietnam in 2022. I just left Bangkok, Thailand and arrived into Vietnam so I just went through the entire process by myself and I want to show you how I did it and how it works. In particular we're gonna cover how to get the e-visa, how to get the insurance for Vietnam and I will also show you my arrival process at the airport. So what the immigration in Vietnam will ask me. It will ask me for the vaccine, it will ask me for the visa, what kind of question they ask me and I will also show you how I got the sim card at the airport, which Vietnamese sim card I got for my phone and how much I pay, what is the best way to get from the airport to the city center, how much should you pay for a taxi and all these practical things about your arrival and how to have a great experience as soon as you land and you enter Vietnam. So let's jump on my computer and let's begin with the e-visa. Okay guys, here we are on my computer. Let's do the e-visa for Vietnam together. First of all, we have to clarify one thing. If you are from one of these countries that you can see on the screen, you can enter Vietnam for free without any visa, without even the e-visa up to 15 days. But if you want to stay more than 15 days, then you have to apply for the e-visa. Also, if you are from one of the Asian country, then you can stay in Vietnam for up to 30 days without any visa. In my case, I want to stay in Vietnam for one month. So even though I'm from Italy and I'm eligible for the free 15 days, I still have to apply for the e-visa because I want to stay for more than 15 days. Let's continue. So we go to Google, we type e-visa Vietnam. This is an ad, probably like an agency that will ask you for money. Skip that, scroll down and here it says that actually your e-visa will be valid for 30 days. It's a single entry and it's mandatory in order to enter Vietnam. So even though they drop all the COVID requirements, you still have to apply for the e-visa. We scroll down and this is the official website, e-visa dot gov dot vn so we click looks like a pretty basic website you would not expect the government website to look like this but it's southeast asia so i'm not surprised step one fulfill required information they will ask for a passport copy step two we have to pay the e-visa fee for 25 us dollar your application will be processed in three working days so make sure to apply for the e-visa at least three working days before your actual flight to vietnam step number three enter registration code registration email and date of birth to check result in the e-visa search menu if then our e-visa will be approved we need to print it and bring it with us to Vietnam so we confirm that we have read everything carefully and we click next as you can see it's three very simple steps step one step two and step three so let's begin with step one so here we have to upload one portrait photography like this just a simple picture and then also the passport copy and in order to upload it you just have to click here and upload it or click here and upload it I didn't have a picture like this, so what I did, I just find a white wall and I take a selfie with my phone. I reduce the size of the picture and I upload it right here. Here we put our arrival date, which for me is the 7th of June 2022, and also the exit checkpoint, which for me will be probably Ho Chi Minh again. I assure that I have truthfully declared all relevant details. I put the CAPTCHA code here, which I cannot really read, and I click review application form. All right, that's it. I was expecting like phase two and phase three, but it's just one page, one phase. You upload your picture, you upload your passport, you put all your personal information and your arrival details and the registration is complete. As you can see here, they give you a registration code. I will just save all these details because it says that your registration code must be remembered for looking up the e-visa. So I will just copy it and that's it. I click OK. So basically the step two is just reviewing the personal information. So nothing in particular to do. And here we are already on the last step, the step number three, where we have to make the payment. Scroll down here, we click pay e-visa fee. As you can see, it's 25 US dollar, which I guess is 568,000 Vietnamese. Here you can see that we can make payments in so many different ways, domestic card or also international card. All right, payment success, order has been successfully paid. Perfect, I think I'm done. As you can see, just pop up this one, successful payment. You have completed the e-visa application. Please wait for response within three working days. I will let you know as soon as I receive my e-visa and I will let you know how long it took me to receive the, the visa. But now another very important thing is to buy the insurance to enter Vietnam.
now it's still mandatory to have a health insurance it doesn't matter if they will check it at the immigration or not it's always better to have a personal insurance especially now with covid it's way more important so i want to guide you step by step on how i buy the insurance i recommend the same insurance broker that i also use for thailand which is mr prakan they also have a dedicated section just for vietnam and they recommend alliance for vietnam which is one of the best insurance worldwide one of the biggest one one of the safest one and also one of the most professional and reliable so you can basically go under any of my video and you will see the links here for example under this video i put the link of the e-visa application for vietnam and right under that there is the insurance for vietnam so we click here and here we are on the mr prakan website so as you can see here it's the health covid insurance for entry of vietnam but this insurance will cover me for way more than covid it will also cover me for accident for scooter accident for emergencies hospitalization for so many other things so i really trust this insurance because i also use it for thailand so here i put where are you traveling from June 1988 actually I will spend my birthday in Vietnam so I'm really excited about it duration of insurance I will take it for one month because I will stay in Vietnam for one month get instant cover if you want to read more you can just scroll down here I already read all these details but uh, there are all the details here get instant cover and voila the price will be 52 euros which is approximately 1900 baht so it's a pretty good deal and as you can see here it covers you for so many things maximum benefit per person per year is 150,000 US dollar I'm 100% cover for surgery and hospitalization I'm 100% cover for medical paramedical consultation pharmacy x-ray laboratory analysis so many things I'm 100% cover for COVID-19 medical expenses urgent dental care which is great they will also buy me a one-way ticket in case of death of a family member they will even pay me for bail so in case i have some legal issues i end up in jail in vietnam they will pay me for to get out of jail so many things so it's a really great insurance i highly highly recommend it so i just click here to buy it here i'm gonna put my personal information and then you scroll down here you can choose the payment method here you can put credit card put your credit card details and then i will just buy the insurance right now and voila payment is successful and i already received the email right here from mr prakan with my insurance policy from alliance that's amazing like literally three seconds after i already have my documents here that i can just print and bring with me to the airport and to vietnam so i highly recommend mr prakan and i highly recommend alliance insurance you can find the link down below So that was super easy at the check-in desk they didn't ask me for anything no vaccine no insurance no visa he just gave me the ticket and that's it okay guys i just passed the immigration here in ho chi minh airport it was super smooth very very easy they didn't ask me for anything actually I just show my e-visa my passport and that's it they didn't ask me for vaccine they didn't ask me for insurance they didn't ask me for a return ticket they didn't ask me for the accommodation where i'm gonna stay nothing just the passport and the e-visa so it was very easy very smooth in five minutes i was already out of the immigration so very very easy process So here I got a SIM card at the airport. I paid 250,000 Vietnamese dong. The company is called Mobifone, but an alternative can be also Vietel, which is very popular. And it seems to be that I have a 30 day package unlimited internet even though it says 10 gigabytes so i'm still a little bit confused but i decided to get it anyway because i need to book my grab and by the way i was super surprised that for the first time in my life getting out of the airport nobody bothered me no taxi driver asked me for a ride no scammers nobody actually bothered me at all i was able to walk outside without any hassle and as you can see here i open my grab application immediately i put my hotel as a destination which is chichilia hotel in downtown ho chi minh city the rate was 163,000 vietnamese dong i book and after 30 seconds the driver showed up so very very easy 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Thank you. All right, guys, I made it into my grab. To be honest, the process was extremely smooth. Within five minutes, I went out from the immigration. No vaccine, just passport and visa, super easy. Then I went out, I did the currency exchange. I changed 4,000 baht that I had from Thailand. Uh, I got a SIM card, the unlimited package for one month, which was really good in a couple of minutes. And then I got 4G immediately on my phone. I ordered Grab and I paid 163,000 uh, Vietnamese deng dong and i'm heading to my hotel right now so very smooth process so far so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to enter vietnam in june 2022 and the practical tips that i just experienced entering vietnam let me know in the comments below if you have any questions if you would like to receive some clarifications or maybe you have much more experience than me and you want to share some advice some tips based on your experience please feel free to do so down below. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.